Hello, in this Steam Deck video I am going to show you how to connect up your Switch Pro controller to your Steam Deck to play games. This could be just regular games via Steam, emulators, whatever you know, else in between, the process is the same. First of all, let's go ahead and sync this up and then we'll talk about controller layouts. You want to press the Steam button, go to Settings and go down to Bluetooth. And in here, make sure show all devices is, let me focus on it in a bit, is turned on. Because sometimes certain devices don't, don't appear, so I recommend keeping it turned on. So if you look at the top of the controller, next to the USB-C port, so this is via Bluetooth, you could connect it via a wire, I guess, directly into the console or using some sort of dock if you want to. But I do it via Bluetooth. This little button here, you keep it pressed for a few seconds and the light at the bottom will start, you know, flashing. And then that means it's in pairing mode, so keep it pressed. Okay, did I press it? Nope, I did not press it. Let me let me try it again. This can be a bit fiddly. Ah, uh, yes, I've definitely felt the press then. Yep, as you can see, the lights are now flashing and Pro Controllers appear. So if you just click that, Pro Controller, and what you'll notice in a second is that these lights will stop flashing. They've stopped flashing now. And the home button light is now illuminated. So we are now connected. And if I demonstrate to you, if I press down, go up, down, and I'm just gonna take the controller away now so I can actually use it. So a few things to note. The A and B buttons and the X and Y are flipped on a Nintendo Switch controller. And as a, as a result, the functionality of A is for the Steam Deck is where the A button is physically on the you know Switch Pro controller. This is important because if you're coming from let's say the the Steam Deck and you're looking at the A B, it's now flipped on the Switch Pro controller and in contrast to something like an Xbox controller, same principle it is now flipped. So a, something to note, if you want to get rid of the, the device, disconnect, you can press here, click disconnect, that just turns the device off, but if you press forget device, it removes it from your, <laughs> turn the camera around. Now if you go to controller, in your Nintendo Switch Pro controller, you can enable or disable rumble, you may not want that, including the Steam haptics. You can use the Nintendo button switch layer, but if you don't, and maybe you don't look at the controller often when you're playing, I know a lot of the time I don't, and you just know where things are and you want to keep with sort of the Xbox Steam Deck layer, you can disable this. And feel free to test the device in post, but I can leave that. If I go to calibration and go in here, you can configure dead zones. If you press Y, so right now Y again is flipped, X and Y, you can see any dead zones that may be here, and as a result, handle them accordingly. So now you can go to gyro calibration. As you can see, I'm rotating it, and it's all working fine. Feel free to calibrate it, and in haptics, you've got game room or steam haptics which you have access here you can turn the set the console to turn the controller to turn off after x amount of you know inactivity so 15 minutes by default and you can modify the desktop layer by default it puts the the official layout for desktop configuration for controllers honestly that is fine but feel free to modify it by clicking edit layout and view layer to view it now if we go back now in terms of playing a game so for example, let's say I use Call of Duty Black Ops, for example. Call of Duty Black Ops does not, um, what's it called, use, have controller layouts. So you can, you know, map it, you can map your controller to it effectively, but it doesn't really have it. So what that means is you can use a controller layout because, you know, we have Steam. If you go on the game, before you launch it up, if you go to the controller buttons, if it's a new game, then you shouldn't, you know, have an issue. But otherwise, you just go here, like, by default, it's giving me an official layer for Call of Duty Black Ops gamepad. This is the recommended template. And you can obviously override it. You can go to the community layers and find a template as well. Feel free to, you know, download it, check it out. And you can always... Uh, to edit it like so and edit the buttons as you see fit and obviously again just to note this button right here will take a screenshot as well as you can see okay so doo -doo 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 -doo. 
and you can have the gyro do some behavior like mouse or joystick if you want to but okay so now that you've configured it and now you know how to add controller layouts i will launch up call of duty black ops to you know demonstrate this some games though you can get a controller layout even and in this case even though it's saying it's an official recommended layout I still end up needing my conventional Steam Deck control. So right now I can't navigate, you know, do anything here. So I'm just gonna use the touch screen. Press no for that, because it's just trying to put it into safe mode. And now I can, I can skip this using the controller, as you can see, I can press any key. But here I'm pressing up, down, I can't do anything. But if I press like A, for example, let me show you and B, you can go in and out of it. But I, cause I, you know, mapped the Steam Deck controller configuration already to a community layer that works well. I can use the touchpad to basically click up and down. And that's basically, you know, one of the things that you need to know. So if I click on here, now I can't use the touchpad, but I can use the right touchpad, which is configured to mouse. I can go over it, just hover over it. And I can just use the A button on my controller to config, click it. Yeah, I'll turn the volume down. So that's just something to bear in mind on the slightly older games you will need to or you may need to have a separate controller layout that you have to you know assign to it maybe a community layout you might even have to modify those layouts it's a game by game basis i've just skipped the intro and you may also have to what's it called use the steam deck controls at certain points just because it's expecting mouse input and you can map that to the controller but then you're losing controls on the well, controller i'm gonna shoot this helicopter because i'm such a badass clearly not a badass but yeah just bear that in mind all those things in terms of controller layouts if you have any questions feel free to post on the discord group link in the description or just post in the comments feel free to let me know what game you're trying and you're having some issues with and i'll see if you know maybe i've already played it and i can recommend some controller layout if not like i said post on the discord group there's bound to be someone because there's over nine thousand members on our discord now you know become one of them there's bound to be somebody that's you know had the same issue with a similar game otherwise we'll try and figure something out if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye